we're going to do this again. I'll show you real quick. Uh, so hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Rising controller. The reason I use this one, I use the temperature limit specifically, and I just set it to 85 because 85 doesn't seem to hurt. Uh, it's usually maxing out around like 95 to 100. Yeah, it's a hot processor. It's because Asus has the damn turbo boost on all the time. I'll explain that in a minute. Yeah, there are other ways to mess with that as well. I also, no matter what, I'm sorry, guys, you should buy a laptop cooler. It's just something I agree with. Been using it for years. I actually found a really cool one uh, in the last few months. They uses a thermoelectric system to pull the heat away underneath. You, you'll just search on Amazon, but I just say that. You can also do CPU TP, TDP. Uh, that really just depends on you. It lowers how much power the CPU gets. Um, the other thing you can do, you have to do is this. So under settings, you need to make sure all three of these are clicked. And you need to make sure it reapplies every 15 minutes. Or I think it's 15 minutes, seconds, whatever. Because Asus, uh, Asus is a uh, armory crate, I think, clears it out or something like that. Basically, just re-enables it every few minutes. And then click save somewhere. Oh, yeah. When you're in here, click save or apply. Blah, blah, blah. Close that. The thing is, I don't run mine in turbo. And uh, as you can see... It's not. It's not going slow. I'm am using the CPU right now to encode video because I'm using OBS to do this. Uh, also, keep it in ultimate mode when you're gaming. Put it in echo mode when you're not gaming. It turns the muck switch off and on basically. Uh, there's another way to do it, I believe, over here. But actually, no, they got rid of that over there. That was in a, a different. It was an older version. Uh, once you turn a turbo mode, though, it'll try to it'll it'll try to kick it up, and the fans do get loud when you do that. When you're gaming, uh, trying to think of anything else here. I think that's everything. Uh, the other thing that someone had mentioned was registry edit to turn to specify this. Uh, so the processor performance po boost mode will not show up until until you do a registry edit. Okay, and right now it's still set to aggressive because, because I'm using Ryzen controller to control it, so it doesn't matter for mine. But if you want to try the register, this you can. This is another way to make the laptop cooler, um, and the way to do this is on another video which I will link. But these are the exact instructions you can see. Um, is right here. I'll also link the video because I cannot remember. Uh, okay. Oh shit! I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, here you go. These are the instructions. I, I got some crap open, okay? Basically to uh, edit it, to make those appear where you can mess with them and, and, and all that. And I will link the video in the uh, post I do here as well. I uh, hope this helps. I mean, as you can see though, I mean, I'm encoding video right now. Uh, pretty high quality. Uh, using the CPU, and I'm running the armor crate sitting at, this is how I uh, tell temperatures and all that. I mean, the CPU is running at 4.3, and I'm sitting at about 80 degrees, 79, you can see right there. So, I uh, hope this helps.